Welcome to Spirit Totem Tuesday with Priestess Melissa and Venusian Empress Oracle. We're going to be tapping into the Spirit of the Animals Oracle cards to see which animal is coming forth today. Could be some loyalty and trust issues going on here. Seeing who we can trust. I do have the wolf music playing in the background for effect. <laughs> Just happened to play out that way. But in any case, we will be looking into those cards as well as the holographic tarot and vice versa tarot to get further messages, queen of cups, and strength energy coming out here today. You could be feeling that energy of howling at the moon, you know? Trying to come back into that wholeness within yourself, releasing all of this that you've been holding within you. All that you've discovered and how it's affected you. All right? How this life, I mean, do any of you get at that point where you're just like fed up with all the treachery and all the deceptiveness and things of that nature? When you're hard at work, you know, and it's like you have no idea that people are working behind your back, potentially. Well, let's see what's going on here. Now, do bear in mind these are general readings. Leave what doesn't resonate. Take what does, and definitely hit the like button. And leave me a comment below how this is resonating. Now, if you need a personal reading to see what, what is going on for you personally, you can reach out to me at VenusianWaves.org. We will definitely find out what you need to know. We do have the Affirmators cards as well that we're going to be using to get a message out for you for advice moving forward today. We'll also get some love advice, as we always do, on the readings here at Venusian Empress Oracle. That way we always have a little bit of guidance in that respect. So that is a great reason to subscribe and hit the bell notification, as well as the fact that I have this handy dandy divination coin. So do get your question ready, 222, and we will find out what your answer is at the end. Stick around. Thank you so much to the angels, ancestors, way showers, and guides. Spirit animal, come forward and show us what we need to know. Many thanks and blessings to each and every one of you for all of your help and support to the channel. I truly appreciate all of the likes, comments, shares, donations. Do subscribe and hit the bell notification so you don't miss any readings, guys. And hopefully you checked out your new moon reading. That will give you an idea of what may be happening at this time as we're coming full on into the spring equinox energy. We're now a week into it. So what are you needing to be aware of? Oh, 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 oh. well, seems like this music was fitting for today as the wolf has popped out indeed. So the wolf and Pathfinder, you could be stalking that way forward at this time, figuring out which way you will move forward, which wolf will you feed, all right? Cougar and assertive, you're definitely very powerful at this time. <laughs> Cat or dog, you know, person, look at the eyes and how piercing they are. You're definitely being very discerning is what I feel at this time as you move forward and dear and love is coming forward for you. I feel this energy of, you know, being at peace within yourself, knowing what you've been through. You know, you've been very courageous. You've come through a lot with this cougar energy coming out on the bottom, but you're not gonna allow it to hold you back. It's your badge. You understand what you have learned from this. Cougar says, in silence you find power claim your leadership role and take action. You know where to go and what to do. You have the courage and confidence to succeed. So be assertive in whatever path that you feel led down at this time. Paths Finder says release your past and start a new journey. So you're definitely starting over or 
taking a new path at this time. You are a teacher and can help others find their way. You will be, sorry, there will be challenges, but your soul is strong. Yes, your heart is strong as well. Perseverance is your secret power. You have a love that endures. Beautiful. And that is so fitting for that deer card on the top as well, right? You're not going to allow anyone to stand in the way of your happiness. You're going to have the courage to have the heart to get through anything that you've been through in the past that has tried to hold you back. All right? You are going to persevere because you have been through the challenges, but you've stayed strong, 555, five, five, while keeping your heart strong. Dear and love says, be gentle with yourself. You heal with the power of love. See the light in all things. Acknowledge your self-worth and grace. Beautiful. I love this energy coming out for us today. So you're definitely moving into this new path or being asked to, you know, by healing, understanding what you've been through. Yes, it is your badge of honor. You deserve to wear it and understand, though, at the same time that you can love yourself enough to know that none of these things need to take you out. And I feel you're not going to allow them to with this energy coming out today. So let's look at this a little closer for us, shall we? Anybody resonating with that lone wolf energy out here? Wolf is the teacher, sage, and pathfinder. So you may need to sage as well. Make sure you're doing that to keep the energy around you cleared. Wolf is revered as one of the great totems in Native American culture because wolf, by their example, instructs us about leadership, survival, and social order. They teach us that power comes from the cooperative efforts of the pack. Maybe that's why we saw the dogs earlier. They teach that power comes from the cooperative efforts of the pack. Wolves know their place and know what to do. So they work in cooperation. Maybe you are a wolf instead of a dog and you have more of that cooperative nature. That's why the deer and love card is coming out today. But you are also fierce and you will stand your ground and be assertive where you need to. All right, so if you have to separate yourself from the pack, if you will, because they are not of your kind, then maybe you are being a lone wolf for a while as you find your tribe. The parenting instincts are strong and the entire group helps to raise the young. They are loyal mates. Wolf is loving, but also very firm, hard but tough, tough but fair, or something like that. Yeah, that's what the military used to say. Wolf has extraordinary strength and endurance. So maybe you had someone in the military or you are as well. If wolf is your totem, you may be asked to take a leadership role in your community. You may feel drawn to teaching and helping raise the young. This could be a school. You might be a substitute teacher or something like that. And you have that ability then when you're teaching, you know, those children, you can also instill the kindness and the loving aspects of, you know, good moral character. You have that ability because of your interactions with them. All right, with Wolf as your totem, you will certainly succeed in these endeavors. Wolf totem, uh, Wolf will ask you not to avoid your responsibilities within your pack. You are the accountable one and should be proud of that. Others can de depend on you. The moon is an ally to the wolf person and represents wisdom and intuition from the feminine divine. Wolf people are great friends, lovers, teachers, and parents. Ask Wolf to help you find your best life. All right, some questions to ask. Are you trying to do everything on your own? Let others help. That's kind of like that delegate authority. Let your kids help you with the housework, you know, different things like that. Let them do their own laundry, <laughs> whatever the case may be. 
take a little bit of the load off yourself so you can be freed up to focus on what's important for you. Remember to stay close to your pack. Are you shirking responsibilities? So are you kind of like finding yourself avoiding um, doing the things that you know you need to do kind of thing? Are others influencing you to leave your path or, you know, kind of like uh, diverting you off of your path somehow by you losing your focus and being focused on things that are not as important, all right? So you may need to stand up to this person, right? Lovingly, of course, <laughs> but hard but fair, you know, tough but fair, whatever the case may be, but uh, tough love, indeed. So, we have a Nine of Cups energy and a Seven of Swords. Be careful what you wish for, because you just never know when you may be dealing with those deceptive types, and I feel like you're definitely going to stand your ground, especially if you have children involved, because we do see a little doe here, or what do they call that, a fawn, sorry. Page of Swords, yeah, you may be finding out something today that's going to cause you to have to stand your ground about something, right? And it may take you down a different path. You may go a different direction than what you had originally thought you would. You're definitely going within at this point for sure to take a closer look at things. Lovers coming up in the center here. Gabriel, heart healing energy going on here. Whatever it is, you want to do it lovingly and maybe it is separation from this person or determining if this is the right path for you. You may feel very burdened in this particular connection, all right? Is what this is showing. In the past, you've tried to have success with this person, but it just always seems like it's a struggle for some reason. And you're not happy any longer, basically, is what this is saying. You're probably holding back quite a bit, not engaging with this person. You may feel alone. Um, because basically there's some healing work that has needed to be done either within yourself or this other person or both that, you know, while you're together, you may not be able to do. You've been seeing that things aren't growing, aren't going in the right direction. You're not moving forward in positive ways. You may feel very defensive with this person, one, two, three, four. Again, standing your ground in some way. Because you really overall want to be happy, you know, is what I see here. It's very important. Part of your path is finding that inner and outer happiness. And right now, it doesn't feel like that's the direction we're moving in, perhaps with the path that we're on. And again, I feel like it's a little bit of a decision-making time coming to that <clears throat> place within ourselves where we're honest with ourselves, right? about what, where we want to be and is where we're at bringing us, you know, everything that we've wanted. So this is really being honest with ourselves, being easy with ourselves, gentle with ourselves, as well as the other person. Because, you know, we make decisions um, a lot of times from a standpoint where we don't have all of the information that we still need to heal and be at a point where we understand what love really looks like and perhaps that's what we need is each one of us or at least one of us need time to make that reconnection within ourselves Ooh, yes because that's the only way to have success is if we do have that connection within ourselves as well right so is this the right path for you? All right, because you do want to be happy, but you don't want to have the burdens as well. And right now it looks like we have a lot of burdens for some reason. Feels like you're wanting to release this. You don't want to have to worry about this anymore. Could have had some things to worry about in the past with that Three of Swords energy. Again, with the burden, so somebody could have stepped out on this relationship. We have world. Ten of Swords, yeah, you knew something had to change. That's why there was no success in the past. Maybe this was something that you've been trying to work out when you knew that you needed to move forward, but, you know, you didn't allow things to change when you got that warning, if you will, perhaps. You know, you didn't see that somebody was actually working against you. 
Whoa. They were definitely trying to confuse you. And it was confusing that this person had so many options and they didn't see your value and worth. And of course, that made you feel like shit, right? But it is going to be important to heal, you know? This person is watching you, though, if they're not together. Um, I feel like you are... Uh, you, you're not talking to them right now. You've blocked them, perhaps. It's a lot of healing that needs to be done, truthfully, you know? Quickly, fast, so that you can be able to move forward and be able to have success. But the healing aspect is holding you back in some way. Well, hopefully you're not pregnant or this person hasn't gotten someone else pregnant, 1551 through that third party situation, but definitely, you know, with what the effort that's being put in, you know, you know, basically because you're not seeing the growth in the relationship, you don't want to give anymore is what this looks like. You really do want to get out of this situation that you know is just no good for you. All right. It's definitely not helping you in any way. This person keeps coming back potentially but there's no change, you know? Ten of Pentacles in reverse. You're constantly having to stand your ground with this person who may always be acting like a child, Hierophant in reverse, King of Pentacles in reverse. Literally, they could be somebody that comes from money and they're like, I'm just gonna cut you off, you know, and you're not gonna be able to survive without me kind of thing, right? You really just want to be able to feel good again and be able to be happy and know that you you don't have to worry about this person perhaps you know causing you all of this injustice empress energy with the ten of cups in reverse it's time for you to step into your role perhaps leave this fantasy behind you know there's nothing at the end of the rainbow right we know that you stay with this person, you're just going to continue to deal with the childish energy. You're going to be holding yourself back from going down the path, I feel, that's really meant for you, right? So maybe, again, you're trying to find a loving way to be assertive, but let this person know you really just don't feel like this is working, you know? Yeah, hit the like button below and let me know how this is resonating with you and what your situation is. I'd definitely like to know. But it is very interesting that I decided to play the wolf music and then that's what comes out, right? I love that. Spirit has a way. All right, so we have this energy of the peacock coming out today. Somebody could be acting cocky thinking they're all that kind of energy. Be careful of vanity as well or seeing that within others. I am beautiful even when I don't think it. I'm beautiful even when I don't see it. I'm beautiful no matter how many people don't say it. I am beautiful and I don't even care if you know it. I am beautiful which is why I don't have to try so hard all the time to show it. So this is knowing that within yourself and this other person maybe needs a lesson in that as well. That you know your value and worth. You don't have to broadcast it, but you're certainly not going to allow somebody to keep diminishing your energy and your beauty and your glow as a result of staying in something, you know, that's only going to do just that. All right. So let's see what love messages are coming out for us today. Ooh, we have this energy of my beloved. You could be missing a child right now. Maybe you have co-parenting with this person. Because uh, I did see, you know, kids coming out quite a bit here. Though we may not be physically, though we may be physically apart, we are always united for Love transcends space and time. Nothing is missing. This also could be if you decided if you did get pregnant to, um, you know, abort or you did miscarry. This could be energy of that child coming through as well. But with this energy, it seems like definitely 
you know, with the kids and the family and all of that in reverse, you know, but still you are the empress regardless of what you may have lost or what kind of difficulties you may be going through at this time. This energy of weight says don't rush into it. Allow nature to take its course, all right? So allow this person perhaps to show you that they're worthy of being in your life before you allow them back in, if you know what I mean. You guys ready to get an answer to your question? Let us do it in three, two, one. All right, guys, the answer for today is going to be a hard no, my friend. I do hope you found messages here today. Lone wolf or going with the pack, we got to make sure that, you know, we remember who we are and we don't get lost in that translation and lost in other people's idea of what beauty is. Stay beautiful, and I will see you soon. Don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe, bell notification. And see you tomorrow for Witchy Wednesday, my darlings. Bye for now.